Hey, Joe from FinSuite here. In this video, I walk you through Cal Invite for Webflow. In this video, we are wrapping up the tutorial. We are going to talk next steps, and we're gonna talk about some cool ways to implement this on your site or your client sites. First, if you need help implementing, go visit us at sweetjs.io. We have JavaScript developers ready to help with this JavaScript implementation. Next, if you are interested in using this on client sites, go ahead and offer this as a service. This is a really cool value add and something we do not see on a lot of sites. Let's check out F and Growth. And on F and Growth, we're using this everywhere. We have our calendar invites and we have our subscribe email collection. Now, remember in the first video, I told you all about this. I will not put my email in there. If I wanna be updated on a show, I'm not going to subscribe on email. The email becomes difficult to manage. There's a lot coming in each day. The more you get in, the more difficult it feels to manage. So I don't like to pile up the email. I would go and put an event on my calendar. So this gives the user a really nice set of options to really stay updated. And yes, you don't get the email capture, but would you rather have some interaction and hope that they do come to the event or no interaction at all? Your answer should be interaction without the email. I want someone to come to my live event. I don't care if I have their email or not. It's more important that they're there than if they're that not there without any email anyway. So you get the option. Go ahead, think about this for events, of course. Think about this for sales. Let's say you have a December 23rd sale coming. You can have people set it all throughout the year. And on December 23rd, when they have their calendar notification come in, you get a nice personalized, hey, you put this sale on your calendar however long ago, and now we're reminding you about it. This could be a much better way for a lot of people to consume this information. Imagine December 23rd, all of these promotions are coming in. This person signs up for a lot of promotions and yours gets drowned out. Nobody is going to see one listing in a 50 emails, but calendar, no one's really doing the calendar. So when I see that there is a sale at store X on the 23rd, that really stands out to me. I think that's a better way to get people's attention for some people. So the option again is really, really cool. Also launches, maybe you are launching a product and you know it's gonna launch on April 1st. Go ahead, send that one week reminder for pre-launch so you can get some people beta testing. Cool, we can go and alert people however we want to alert them for whatever we want to alert them for. Think about these use cases. Think about telling your clients about these options. Remember, they do not need to be super visible. Right here, we have really visible buttons. I think it works for events, but if it's a reminder for a launch, it could be as simple as a, a text link. And you click the text link and the a little Webflow interaction shows up with three buttons and somebody clicks it. So it could be a little bit more hidden. The buttons do not need to be super visible. It could be a, a sub part of your call to action. And that's it. We are done with this walkthrough. And now you are a Cal Invite for Webflow Pro. Check us out, finsuite.com. We are making more and more libraries like this. If you have ideas for this one, please reach out. If you have ideas for new ones, please reach out. We're listening. We're ready to build more cool stuff for you. Thanks for watching. Check out more FinSuite videos to keep learning Webflow.